Our next interview is going to be with the actor who plays Jesus, Jonathan Rumi. So we're waiting. I'm guaranteed to get the next interview. I cannot wait. Judy Shields with the Hollywood Times. I'm going to have you introduce yourself and the character you play. My name is Jonathan Rumi, and I play Jesus in The Chosen. I have to tell you that I've met God through Morgan Freeman, and now I've met Jesus through you. I had to get that out. My life, I can walk, I can walk away now and just be the rest of my life. Your show has changed my life. The prayers have come several times since watching this show. Praise God. I mean, that's, that's what can you say about that? That's awesome. That's Thank you. I wanted to ask you, uh, can you share an, a, an experience where you felt God's immense love for you while filming The Chosen? Yeah, I mean, I think there were several scenes throughout that had that, that I had felt that. Um, I think I, I don't, I would struggle to tell you what specific scenes they, they were. And I think I might also want to keep that private, even if I could remember specifically, but you know, some scenes are harder than others, and some scenes I need to rely on much more uh, for God's help to kind of get me through them. So when that happens, um, I know He does get me through them, and uh, and they feel they f it feels great. I feel I feel the love. Have you seen any of season four? Because it's amazing. I've seen a few episodes. Oh, really? I've seen bits and pieces of stuff. Um, yeah, but I haven't seen much. I've tried to. I've had the opportunity to see more, but I don't want to. I want to experience it on the big screen because that's, that's where it's meant to be seen, and that's what uh, that's that's what we're intending to do here for season four. So I hope people come out to the theaters and support it. I know your life has changed, and you have a lot of friends that God had given you from the cast, right? How do you feel about that? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, you know, you're 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 on a journey for seven years, and you got to make some friends along the way that you're going to be going through some tough times with. I mean, we all we all really had um, a, a, a hard time at points with season four because it was just physically grueling. It was the most physically grueling season we'd ever filmed. So to have you know, a band of brothers and sisters in the trenches with you, it just made it that much easier to get through it. Thank you for giving us this show. You're amazing. What an actor you are. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you for changing my life. Thank you. Um, Judy Shields, I'm going to have you guys introduce yourself, who you play on the show, and let's have a conversation. Hi, I'm Ann Baya, and I play Shula. Hi, Alok Mehta, I play Barnaby. So, how has these characters that you play changed your life? This role, um, it just encouraged me so much. Um, it showed me boldness and strength, and I found myself in Shula more than I may have wanted to admit. I think for me, I, I think this role came along at a time where I was personally maybe at a crossroads of where, you know, where do I fit in within the industry and I was uh, super excited to get a role that has comedy but also has so much depth to it as well. So it's nice to be able to explore humorous moments but with heart and with, uh, you know, being a part of something that is much greater than just entertainment too. So it's been incredible. Like the fans behind us is amazing, right? Yes. <laughs> we yeah. love our fans. Absolutely, we love the fans. Woo! We the love fans. the fans. Sorry, the fans just, uh, are just am yeah. No, you can scream, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, they're they're amazing. They're amazing. It's uh, it's it's been really special. It's a it's a role of a lifetime. I love watching the show. It's amazing. Thank you for stopping and talking to us. Have a blessed night. Thank you. You Thank too. You. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good. Tell us your name and what role you play on The Chosen. Oh, I, I'm David Amito, and I play the role of John the Baptist. And I'm Amy Bailey, and I play Jesus. No, I don't. I play Joanna. <laughs> You're making a wonderful Jesus. How did you two, uh, you know, your roles, how did you do the research and prepare for it? Um, actually, the fans did a lot of preparing for me because I didn't know who I was playing. I had to quickly look her up. And um, the fans were amazing because they actually provided me a lot of like long written commentary on social media, which was wonderful. So shout out Chosen fans. Thank you very much. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's very good. And you're, you're a very special character. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, for, well, it's, 
So I started basically with the beginning of the show. So for me, I didn't have like a previous episode to like watch or anything like that. So a lot of it was like just a historical research to see what was in the Bible, to see what was written about like in the writings of Josephus, and then to see how other people like kind of approached it in, in, in other faith-based stuff. But definitely the script was its own thing, and I kind of had to get rid of all that and just understand the, the John the Baptist that, that Dallas and Ryan and Tyler had created and, and, I was, and, and then just like let it ride. And then trust that they'd let me know when I'm wrong, uh, which they did. And, and uh, yeah, so it, it worked out. It worked out. You both did a wonderful job. Thank you for stalking and talking to us. Can't wait to see the rest of season four. Thank you. Have a Thanks good so night. Much. Judy Shields here. Uh, introduce yourself and what character you play on The Chosen. Hey, everybody. I'm Brandon Potter, and I play the Roman Praetor Quintus on The Chosen. Hi, I'm Elijah Alexander. I play Atticus Emilius Pulcher. He's got three names. He's got three names. Atticus Emilius Pulcher. You do that so well. And you both look so handsome tonight. I want to ask you about your costumes. You wear them so well. Let's talk about that. Uh, the costumes are an incredible work of art by the costume department. Um, they, they do a thing which is very special in the acting world which is they allow you to not use your imagination. And you might think that we always want to use our imagination, but sometimes it's better to let reality take over and you can use your imagination for all the fun emotional acting bits. Uh, so every little detail in these costumes is just perfect, so I never have to think about what I'm wearing. It's amazing. How about yours? Um, You've had different ones. I have had diff many different costumes. Some may say... I have the best costumes in the show. You do. You look so well in them. Uh, they gave me a cape. It's called a palladium. It's not a cape. Is that it's, really what it's called? Yeah. It's called a palladium. You learn something new every day. Not a, a, Oh. Excuse you. The real... Yeah, the real stars. The real stars. No, I'm talking to the best. Oh. And I, actually, I'm hoping Atticus will wear Abe's suit in season five that is so that is so very awesome so what are you looking forward to tonight with all your fans and seeing it the season premiere here at the ace theater i'm hoping to uh make a soulmate connection meet the love of my life get married and have kids i'm available uh i'm i'm looking to have a good time and share the, the things that we've made with people who I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are making me blush. Uh, thank goodness I'm not on camera because I made them blush and they're making me blush. Look at you. Thank you. I'm, I'm only partly kidding. Uh, so call but, them. Ladies, call them. <laughs> you know? All right. I'm giving them my business card. Yeah, yeah. Just, just drop off your business card. Please do. You know? How do you do research for the roles that you play? Well, it's easy. I just curate my imagination because this character did not exist. He's one of the few in this show that did not, is not historically um, accurate, you know, did not live in the life and times uh, of, although, you know, his role was very much a job this character of Atticus did not exist. So, so the research that I have to do is all a part of my imagination, which is an actor's dream. I mean, wonder he did it so well. Yeah, yeah he does. Uh, I mean, of course, the writer, the writers. I mean, Ryan is mostly responsible for creating this particular character, Ryan Swanson, uh, one of the three writers. Um, but it, it, you know, it comes from his imagination, and then it, it involves mine, and of course Dallas is involved in shaping. And but I mean, it's an actor's dream because there are no confines, there are no limitations, and no expectations. So it's the best. It's the best of all roles and the best of all dreams. They're having me wrap it up, so you and I are going to have to have a one-on-one -on -one to, to finish up. I'm going to give you my business card. Yes, Judy Shields from the Hollywood Times. And you are? My name is Ivan Hasso. I play Yusuf on The Chosen. 
Yeah, hi, I'm Sean Sharma. I play Shmuel. <laughs> Wasim Nomani, I am Yanni. <laughs> so let's talk about your characters. Uh, season four. Tell us about that. Season four, well, in this season, uh, Yusuf is making some big steps, doing, uh, taking a little uh, ambition and then uh, making sure that he's a bigger part of things. Yeah. Yeah, Shmuel's just up to no good in the neighborhood, as usual. Do you guys like pay playing your characters? Oh, gosh, it's so much fun. It's really fun to play such a distinct character that everybody knows just because he's so annoying. <laughs> Yes, I'm just instigating <laughs> Shmuel's pursuit, being hot on the heels of Jesus. Yeah, he's the one that has the catchphrase, yeah. right? Don't be a Shmuel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it like wearing those, putting on those costumes? Oh man, are we all? Uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's sometimes it's it's a little struggle when it's hot, but you know it's it's part of the part of it. You know they they would wear this back then, so it's just it helps us get a little more depth into the character. I feel like yeah. Yeah, it makes us feel like pretty pretty princesses. <laughs> very pretty. You know, we have our little headdresses, we have our long robes with layers and all that. It's great because you can you you can eat lunch on set and nobody can tell. Yeah. <laughs> you use them for napkins. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Going to the bathroom is challenging, especially for me, because I have to go off and, and I am I got like four layers on. Yeah, you wouldn't know anything about that. It's really hard for us guys <laughs> yeah. to go to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say how many layers I have on. Don't tell anybody. <gasps> Let's see, I have one last question here. I've got to read it because I'm so nervous. Can you share an experience where you felt God's immense love for you while filming The Chosen? Uh, experience there, I mean, just the do it, the entire show in, in itself, I think it's it's been a, a moment and experience um, to be to be present on, on set and to be to see it on the screen. I think that in itself ha has emitted a, such a good energy for, for me, so, yeah. I didn't hear the question, so whatever Yvonne said. Yes. Any God's experience in doing The Chosen? God's experience? Oh, everything I do is in service to my yeah. faith, so this is I love a step on the way. Yeah. yeah. Just being a part of this was like God's kiss to my life. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for joining us. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Yeah, Hi, Judy Shields the Hollywood Times. and. Uh, Introduce yourself and what role you play on The Chosen. Yes, hi everyone. My name is Reza Diaco and I play Philip on The Chosen, the disciple. So how did you prepare yourself for this amazing role that you have? Oh, uh, it was a complicated process because this year I was uh, the new Philip. Um, so that involved um, kind of, I was also a fan of the show from season one. So it was very interesting because I felt kind of a, a little bit of a homage to the, the previous Philip. I had to kind of look at some of the mannerisms and things that he was up to but at the same time I was you know given the freedom from from the lovely director Dallas to to bring my own stamp into it um, and I, I guess you, you draw from your own life you draw from all sorts of stuff um, you do a lot of crazy research on text and 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 the era um, my feeling is always about surrendering and, and, and to the unconscious and kind of making a handshake with the character between yourself and the character and almost like trusting things to take off really so um, I can't go into the nitty-gritty because some of that is a bit of a secret but you know we figured uh, welcome to the chosen uh, what's it like with putting on the costume oh that was also very interesting again considering that I was a huge fan and also a huge fan of the previous Philip as well um, wearing the costume was um, very beautiful and also the, co the the costume team is incredible on the show and um, they work collaboratively and I had certain ideas and I wanted to put that into uh, the character through the costume and they were so uh, helpful with that um, wearing it um, feels like a process of transformation and transcendence it, it plays a big part in, in the process of obviously getting into character and uh, I love Philip's costume it's pretty sexy so thank you Thank you for joining us. Have a great night tonight. Hi, I'm Judy Shields with The Hollywood Times. Hi. Tell us your name and what character you play on The Chosen. Yes, uh, my name is Al Asafi and I play Simon the Zealot. So how did this role come about to you? It was a self-tape. Um, I auditioned from Italy. Uh, I live in Paris and uh, I was on a holiday and I just auditioned just before COVID and, uh, and it, was, it was just uh, totally unexpected. Um, no, actually, it was the third character I was auditioning for uh, through self-tape, and uh, they eventually let me in. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was just, you know, it was just, it was 
very, very, uh, very good timing, and I was very grateful to get on board. I could see all the, you know, uh, the videos from season one already that was that were online. So it was a thing already, and uh, but it, it wasn't this big. So this is just incredible. How has the chosen changed your life because of this? It's. Um, I think it's humility is what comes to mind. You know, I get, I get, yeah, we, we keep being more and more humble. I think we have to because this is the proportions of this show are it's just, it's, it's 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 blowing, it's blowing up, and um, and it's it's exponential. And we we do the same job every season. You know, we just portray the characters along the story, but it just takes off in in ways that we never expected. So um, it's very humbling. It's very humbling, and um, and you know, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm just grateful. <laughs> it's hard to say anything else. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us, and congratulations on the upcoming season. The Hollywood Times, Judy Shields. Introduce yourself and what character you play on The Chosen. Yes, my name is Nick Shakur, and I play Zebedee on The Chosen. How did this role come your way? Came my way through representative. I initially did not want to play a fisherman in his 60s. <laughs> and then eventually, I ended up playing him, and I love this character. You look very nice tonight. How do you like your costumes on the show? It's perfect. The costume designers did a perfect job. Everything from the way his shirt sits to his belt to the little ascot that he wears. It's, um, it really informs the character when you put it on, and it completes the whole look. So do you have to rub fish on yourself at all during the shoots? It's so annoying all the time on my beard, on my face, on my neck. And then the cast can't stand it, but I, I got to be in character, you know? You're such a comedian. <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, we love season four is amazing so far what I've seen. Thank you. Thank you. It's, the show means a lot to me. Thank you. That means it, it never gets old hearing that. I can't imagine. So thank you again. Thank you. Hi, Judy Shields with the Holiday Times. Introduce yourself and the characters that you play. Although I know them, yeah. tell our audience. Yeah, I'm Shireen Khan. I play Herodias. Paul Ben Victor, and I play King Herod. Okay, I knew that. So how did the two of you prepare for this role? Oh gosh, so much research, um, and uh, you know the nature of these characters is is kind of complicated, and uh, um, and it's really easy to have a judgment on them, real easy. But um, you know, so uh, a lot of the preparation was just tapping into what could be their humanity, and uh, you know what makes humans tick isn't always the brightest light, you know, and so so yeah, lots of research, lots of um, getting into the dark side. <laughs> Well, king, let's see. I don't think I've played a king before, so I had to definitely do some, watch some biographies. But, you know, stepping into the world, first of all, it's on the page. If it ain't on the page, we don't have a show. And it was wonderfully written, beautifully written. And then you step into the world that Dallas has created, obviously. And you step into the wardrobe, this authentic, beautiful costume of the, of the era. And it's hard to not be serve it and, and be, 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 be good in it. So um, we've enjoyed, you know, you step into these settings and these production values and you kind of just let it take you. So um, it was a lot, a lot to work with. Yeah, there's always many questions, but we got to let you guys keep going. So thank you so much for being here. We love the show. I love the show. God bless you both. Thank you for having us. Judy Shields from the Hollywood Times. Can you guys introduce yourself and the roles you play in The Chosen? Although I know. I'm Austin Reed Alleman. I play Nathaniel. I'm Joey Vahidi. I play Thomas. Thomas made me cry today. But you guys always make me cry. So what is it like playing the characters that you play? Talk about that, your costumes and everything. Honestly, it's such a great experience to be a part of this show. This is a story that I think many people can identify with regardless of what your background is, what you believe in, because it's a story about family. You know what I mean? These are people that love one another. They sometimes hate one another. You see them at their highs. You see them at their lows. This is something that's really fun to be a part of as well because the fans are fantastic. They're the ones that have been keeping us afloat, really, since we've started, you know? And it's been such a beautiful thing to be a part of. 
Yeah, I mean, this is like the, sh the little show that could, you know? It started out as a web series in season one before I was even a part of it. Came on in season two, had no idea what to expect. And now here we are premiering in movie theaters everywhere and it's just blowing up. And, and here we are in LA at a premiere and it's, it's very surreal. But uh, it's a dream come true to get to do this. I've always wanted to do this my whole life and it's, it's happening and I get to do it with my brother Joey. You guys are doing a great job. Can you share an experience where you felt God's immense love for you while filming in The Chosen? Well, I, I will say, um, I think we see the love within each other. You know what I mean? A lot of us have been so lucky to be a part of this because you feel a genuine brotherhood. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's, it's just love between everybody all the time, offset, onset, and it's been so remarkable. Yeah, I mean, I'm a secular person. I'm pretty open about that. So for me, it's all about the connections with my castmates and with the story, you know. And uh, like he was saying, it's all about the relationships. You can't help but root for these people. And I can't help but root for my castmates as well. So it's kind of like when the character grieves, we grieve. When the character feels joy, we feel joy. So it's, it's kind of, uh, it's all coming together and it's a, it's a joy to be a part of. God has brought all of you together for friendship that's going to last the rest of your life. You know that, right? That's the best thing that's happened from this show is the friends that I've made Agreed. along the way. Yeah, I can safely say these are people that I'm going to keep in touch with for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. Judy Shields with The Hollywood Time. Introduce yourself in the role that you play on The Chosen. Of course. Hello, my name is Luke Dimian, and I play Judas Iscariot. Oh, so what's season four been like for you this year oh season four season four has been a fantastic ride genuinely getting this is i think my second full season in with this incredible cast and crew and i've never felt more at home working so regularly with this kind of with this group of people i feel at home and it's just been nice it was nice to return and fall right back into place so yeah so how has your life changed because of the show uh i got a steady job i was able to afford health care that was nice and I was able to open a savings account to help support my family sometimes. Not that they need support. They're actually, honestly pretty well off. So that's mostly just for me to pat myself in the back. Like if I could, if I wanted to, maybe. Uh, car repairs are pretty, uh, are less stressful now. That's nice. And now I have this second family that I can always reach out to for, uh, for support or love. Do you hear that, love? I would be screaming right now, too, if the mic wasn't there. I love them so much. That's Jordan Walker Ross and Giovanni Cairo. Get back here for me. Thank you so much for joining. Judy Shields from The Hollywood Times. Uh, did you girls just get lost and come from a fashion show? You look marvelous. Oh, thank you so much. So uh, introduce yourself and the character you play on The Chosen. Uh, my name is Vanessa Benevente, and I play Mary Mother. Oh, Lada Silva, and I play Eden in The Chosen. <laughs> Such an amazing show. This show has changed my life. Uh, I'm gonna cry and I'm trying not to. It's been really hard not to cry. You, you both look beautiful. What's it like researching the character that you've portrayed and talk about your costumes as well? Well, uh, what's it like? There's not a lot, there's not a lot to research. There's not a lot of research um, to pull from for Mother Mary, unfortunately, but um, I try to concentrate on the relationship between you know, a mother and a son. I feel like that's so universal. I feel like that is um, something that everyone can relate to and our writers do such an amazing job giving us uh, 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 these beautiful scenes that we can that we can explore and we can enjoy that, you know, it's, it's been a dream. Um, not much that we have anything on, on Eden. Uh, we just know in scripture that Jesus heals Simon's mother-in-law. She doesn't even have a name, or you know, his wife doesn't even have a name. So that has been so impactful because the show has given her a voice as well, and to so many women. Um, so just the fans, all of the women, just being, to being able to represent us um, has been really, really. I can't believe God has entrusted me, honestly, to to do it. So I just all I do is uh, I try to bring who I am, my truth, and. Um, I, who I am as, as a wife, uh, as a friend, as a sister, um, and that's what I bring to Eden. <laughs> you two have done an amazing job, I'm, I'm telling you. It's just, the research I'm in is like, how do you get that character, not knowing that you had that, and you explained that so well. And season four has some surprises for us all. 
Oh yes, you couldn't have said it better. <laughs> yeah. Bring Kleenex. Always, every I always say every season. I'm like everybody, just bring your tissues to the theaters because I, I didn't have mine and I was just dripping everywhere. <laughs> so you girls have made lifetime friends that God has given you, right, from the cast. I really think so. I feel like I'm not only supported and and um, in a safety environment, in a safe environment to create and to try new things when I'm at work, but also it trans it transcends the work and it transcends the set. It really, I feel like we we have each other's back, and I, I you know, it's very special. Truly, family. I mean, uh, even for my baby shower, um, <laughs> the castmates sent me a video to congratulate us on our baby shower. I mean, who does that on Anna? I feel like not many shows do that for their castmates because I, I, we're just family. I love them so much. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. Congratulations for season four. It's amazing. Take care. Thank you so much. Hi, Judy Shields from the Hollywood Times. Introduce yourself and the character you play. Oh, uh, hello. I am Noah James. I play Andrew in The Chosen. And you're a comedian on that show. Yeah, something like that. I like to bring the energy. I feel like at 5.30 in the morning, you need someone to kind of like scream and jolt you awake. So I try to bring that, you know. What type of research did you have to do for your character? Well, a lot of it, it's funny because obviously we know who these people are, we know their names, we know them sort of as though two-dimensional characters in some ways. We know the paintings, we know the sculptures, but to us a lot of it was like, okay, let's strip all that away for now. What would it be like to live 2,000 years ago? What would it be like to maybe have your boat taken away as a fisherman, not be able to pay your taxes to Rome? What would it be like? to follow Jesus, to pitch your own tent, to starve, you know, bleed in the deserts of Judea. Like that, that to me was something that I really wanted to fill out and make sure that we made that three dimensional. So that's where a lot of my imagination work went in the beginning. Yeah, because all the actors and actresses have done an amazing job at bringing it to life. I'm on Google, like, what did he do? What Did this happen? And, and it, I'm getting out my Bible more. This is an amazing show for that. Oh, thank you so much. That I mean, like, we it's so important to us that we tell this story the best way we possibly can and stick true to Scripture and then bring artistic uh, imagination where we need it to fill out some of the interpersonal relationships. You know, what... Are Andrew and Simon like together as brothers? That's something that we pay attention to on the show, and I think fans respond to it. It's an amazing show, season four. It's just great to see the whole, all of it be on the movie theaters. How do you feel about that, the whole season? I feel like watching this season in a communal setting and knowing that everyone in the theater has sort of grown and witnessed you know, these characters together there's so, it, it can't be replaced. And then, of course, if you want to watch it at home, alone, tucked in, which it, it does get a little bit of like a bumpy ride, so I understand, but it's really, really nice to be able to see everyone's hard work on the big screen. I watch, like, binge watch three of the episodes for this, and I'm, of course, I'm not talking about season four because I don't want to give it away, but I've been crying, folks. Kleenex. Bring Kleenex. Lots of Kleenex, lots of crying, but... While it is, yeah, it is a tumultuous season and we know where the story is going, but there's a reason we go there and there is hope at the end of it. There's a reason you go through these challenging times. So that's what I'm hoping people get from the season is that while it gets pretty rough, um, you know, I think you'll it, it will be worthwhile at the end of it for sure. We appreciate you stopping and talking to us. God bless you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Enjoy the night. Thank you. You too. Night. Judy Shields here with The Hollywood Times. Tell us your name and the role you play on The Chosen. Hi, I'm Paris Patel, and I play Matthew on The Chosen. You have to tell me about your research on playing this amazing role of yours. Uh, you know, it takes a village, as they say, and so for this, one of my main uh, researching uh, tools was just the director, having conversations with him and, and kind of creating Matthew from the ground up and working together, being a team, which is so important, uh, is what kind of gave Matthew the life. Uh, as far as auditioning goes, I was auditioning for another show where the character was on the spectrum and so I kind of did my research and, and watching documentaries and kind of observing people and things like that. So to get more into Matthew's body, I, I, I was using that as my research. So it kind of takes a lot uh, of work and effort. So You're like a comedian to me. A comedian or a chameleon? A chameleon! Okay, yeah. <laughs> 
way you can, you know, the, from your costuming, how is it with the costuming with you? Yeah, it, it means a lot that you said that. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I think being able to be, have a part where you can find uh, your own voice and find your own calling is so important in life. And mo many people go on in life not loving what they do. And I think I'm just so blessed and grateful to be able to be on this and, and, and get the challenges in portraying Matthew and, and uh, just doing what I love. So God has given you a lot of friends because God gives us our friends. You have many friends now for the rest of your life, don't you, from the crew, cast of The Chosen. Yeah, I would say like, you know, look at, look at this. All of us are, 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 are a big family. Um, you know, I know uh, there were only 12 disciples, but we have like a cast of 25 others that uh, we're a huge family. We have each other's uh, backs. We love and support one another. And uh, these are people I'm going to talk to in years after the show's over and uh, laugh about our memories and, and, and the good and bad. Uh, do you get writer's cramps? Do I get writer's cramp? Well, that's where I bring in John to finish the story. <laughs> so yeah. Matt, I told you you're a comedian. So, uh, you know. Yes, uh, and because I'm a lefty on the show, like I get the ink stain that happens and writing from right to left. You think you'd avoid that, but it's like, yeah, so I have it. So then I'm like, John, buddy, take over. So you're a Southpaw. I'm a what? Southpaw. I don't know what that is. That's what they call left-handed people. I think they call them Southpaws. You're gonna have to look that up. Yeah, I will have to look that up, Southpaw it is. But I also read that creative people are left-handed, so yeah. artistic people as well. Darn it, I should have been left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> <We'd> <laughs> What's it like to work with Jesus? It's been amazing. Like I said, like our entire cast and crew, we're so close and connected. Everybody helps everybody in their own scene. So when, when one person has an emotional scene coming up, all of us kind of rally around them and give them that moment to uh, support them for that, for the emotional uh, scenes that they have to do. So we all love each other like that and we all respect each other. I think respect can go a long way, especially in a business like ours. I just want to say congratulations for season four. I watched the first three episodes and there's a big part that you do in there congratulations thank you so much judy that means a lot i'm really excited to see it for the first time with everyone tonight so <sighs> get your kleenex yeah i get, get your kleenex at the chosen rise <laughs> thank you for joining us right, have you. a blessed night you too. take care have fun tonight judy shields of the hollywood times introduce yourself and what character you play on the chosen well it's a pleasure to meet you uh, my name is demetrius troy i play lazarus the uh, best friend of jesus what a role. How did this come your way? Uh, well, I've, uh, G uh, well, Jonathan has actually been my Jesus uh, since 2014. I've been working with Dallas on uh, his films for his church. And um, we had lost touch for a little bit, all of us. And then I had messaged him one day and just he, he had posted something on uh, Facebook. And I agreed with him and I said, hey, if you got something going on, let me know. I'd love to get back together. And I had no idea about The Chosen. And he's like, well, funny you should ask. And so, you know, here I am. What about the costume? Talk about the costume. Uh, which costume? All of them. Um, I mean, what can I say? It's just, it's an amazing, it's an amazing crew. Um, working with, you know, when we were doing the um, grave clothes, uh, they allowed me to have my input uh, on uh, what I wore. So, but I can't give too much away since it's I know. out yet. <laughs> Well, you've, you've opened up our hearts to this show and to God, and uh, what has it meant to you? It's, it's a, the, one of the greatest blessings, you know, um, to be able to connect with the fans and to connect with people of faith and to be somebody like myself who's of the faith and to couple my craft and my work with that. Well, you can't ask for anything better than that, you know. So well said. Thank you for joining us. I love this show. Congratulations on season four. Pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Judy Shields from the Hollywood Times. Although I know who you are, introduce yourself and the role you play on The Chosen. Sure, I'm Elizabeth Tabish and I play Mary Magdalene on The Chosen. What type of research did you have to do for this role? Um, you know, I, when I first got the script, you know, everyone knows about Mary Magdalene. There's a lot of other projects, a lot of speculation about who she was. When I got the script, I just kind of really focused on the, what they wrote. And then I didn't actually know she was possessed <laughs> until I was like, is this biblically accurate? So I went to the Gospels and I was like, Mary possessed by seven demons, Jesus exercised them. I was like, oh, so episode one is that backstory, which is such an interesting way to introduce the show and to introduce these characters. I thought it was like wonderful writing, really clever writing. 
So throughout the seasons, you've been around a, a, a lot of the men. So are you sort of like a, a tomboy? How's it been working with all those guys? A little bit. It's been wonderful. They're all so wonderful and talented. And I'm learning from them. And, um, you know, they're all very supportive. With I'm, I mean, a lot of the scenes are so emotional. Uh, and they've just been wonderful scene partners and really kind of create this safe space to, to be vulnerable together. It's been wonderful. Yeah. And how has this role changed your life? In every imaginable way. <laughs> um, I was actually trying to quit acting or was planning on quitting acting right before I booked it. I just couldn't book the things that I was wanting to and I thought I need to be practical. Time to get a big girl job and and then this role came along and, and so it's just been a wonderful experience and I, just changed a lot of things in my life where I get to do, you know, a dream character and on a dream project and I'm grateful for it. You have amazing fans behind us, don't you? I know, they're the best. They're so sweet. They are the best. Yes, I'm a huge fan. I got to see a few episodes of season four. Yeah, I need Kleenex. I haven't seen it yet. So I beat you. I didn't bring any Kleenex, so. You better find some. <laughs> Toilet paper in the bathroom. That's what I should do. <laughs> I just stuff it in my pocket. I should have brought some for you all. But you look amazing. Thank you very much. And you're an amazing character. What about your costumes that you have to put on? They're wonderful. They they really help me get into the character. Those sandals and the veils, like you, it really makes you feel like you're in that space. Um, the costume designers are wonderful on this show. Everyone looks you know, very authentic, which is nice. Yeah. We thank you for joining us, and God bless you, and we love the show. Have a great time tonight. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Get you in. Judy Shields from The Hollywood Times. Introduce yourself and tell us the character you play on The Chosen. Absolutely. I'm Jale Vosu, Z Jaja for short. I play Veronica. I was in season three. Listen to your fans back there. I know. They're so sweet. I love them all. Fans are so important, especially for this show. You know, I didn't know my character would resonate as powerfully as it did with the fans, and I still get messages from people just feeling so blessed and so moved by this story. So I really appreciate everybody. So I assume you haven't seen any of season four yet? I have not, but if everybody loves Veronica, they might be seeing some of her in season four. We'll find mm. out. I bet. You got a great character. How's the costuming for you? How's the what? The, the costumes for you. Oh, I love it. A little different than this, obviously. She's a little bit less uh, less period and more vibrant. But no, I love it. We have a great costume team. They've been exceptional. They really intricated the pieces. I had special gems in, as part of my character. It really helped me get a backstory to her as an actor, as an artist. So, yeah, absolutely loved working with them. Yeah, you have lifelong friends, don't you, from this show? Absolutely. I was just telling the interviewer down there, actually. I said, I talked to Tamar on the weekly. You know, we read auditions with each other, Lada and I. Everybody, I mean, I've seen them probably more than my family this year in Los Angeles and outside, so it's wonderful. Thanks for talking with us. Congratulations. You're amazing.